What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? <laughs> What's going on, y'all? So I just left the comedy uh, showcase, and it was student alumni, right? People who went through the comedy course. And I got good reviews. My Oh, let me have my grades, y'all. Let me have my grades. <laughs> Look, the comedy teacher and the students said I did really good. I killed it. The comedy teacher said I really got a gift for this. Um, I figure if I would have started this at 25, I probably would have been on TV. <laughs> so I had a great night, y'all. We had a good comedians. And two of my, well, my co-worker came, right? And he brought his fiance. That was cool. That was really nice. And they said they liked it and I did good because I told them this is not, I'm, I'm new to this. You know, I ain't true to this. I'm new to this. <laughs> so I had them laughing and it's always a diverse crowd, you know, and I had, so now I'm going to start hitting the open mics on the weekend, the later part of the week, may work around my schedule. And see how it goes. You know. So yeah y'all. I'm doing what I enjoy. I'm doing what I love. <laughs> and. You know. You can't. I've been playing around all my life. You know I've been playing around. And I think about it. But you can't have any regrets. About what you do. And how you live your life. Your life is. Living life is an experience. And things happen. But I just said to myself, I wish I would have did this in my 20s. Now, I've always been a fool and I've always been silly. But take it seriously as a career. I really wish I would have did it in my 20s. You know, because comedians, I've seen some of them, they be on social media for like 10 years. I ain't got 10 years. You know, this, this is... I'm aged. I ain't got 10 years to be making a comedy career. You know what I'm saying? But I do it for fun. And if they ever have like something where you can win some money, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. So I had a great day, y'all. I had a great day. So now I'm going to kick back and relax. Yes. And look, the crazy part about it is I can't find nobody... In Dallas, I did my own eyebrows. Check my eyebrows out. I can't find nobody in Dallas to do my do my eyebrows. Like, I had one girl, she, she said, oh, I'm going to send you the address and this and that. And she never got back to me. So, look at my eyebrows, y'all. So, I'm like, I wish I could learn how to do eyebrows on other people. And I would make a killing in Dallas. Because I know I'm not the only black woman looking for someone to do their eyebrows and don't know where to go. I didn't went on Google. You know, I don't want to be out here looking like Bert and Ernie, Bert on Sesame Street. You know, I don't want nobody to pluck all my eyebrows off. You know, so I've been looking for people and I can't find it. Like in Atlanta, you can find somebody to do your eyebrows. You can find somebody. So that's my only gripe about down here, but I love it. I enjoy it. I have fun. Um, I enjoy Texas. The people are nice. All races of people are nice. And let's see how this thing goes. This thing called life, y'all. I really need to shave my my edges. At least I got edges. You know what I'm saying? Some people edges be looking like helicopter pads. <laughs> My edges is gray, but I got edges. You know what I'm saying? So that's all I got for this video. I will see you all on the next one. Thank you for watching.